Hey everyone, this is Just a Tech and welcome back to the channel. So today I will show you how you can jailbreak iPhone 7, 7 Plus, iPhone 8, 8 Plus, iPhone X on your Windows machine using the Checkrain latest 0.12.3. I have recently made the two videos on the Checkrain 0.12.3 Windows machine method including the iPhone 5S to iPhone X, iOS 12.5.3 to the latest 14.5.1. But many A11 users that having the iPhone 8, 8 Plus and iPhone X having some issues with the latest checkering version. Like some user it's working fine but for the some user it's getting freeze on the checkering screen after allowing the skip 11 BPR check. Or some user facing the lockdown minus 19 error and some user are facing the parsing state error. So I will show you how you can fix all these errors on the A11 devices. Currently these issues are facing with the iPhone 8, 8 Plus and iPhone X. So for the other models like iPhone 6s, iPhone SE, 5s. So you can watch this dedicated video for that. You can easily jailbreak the other model. This video is especially for the A11 users and some user having issue with the iPhone 7 and 7 Plus. So you can watch this video and easily jailbreak your device. So let me just go to my computer screen and show you the complete step by step process. Now the step number one is very simple. You need to go to the description blog link where you will find the Checkprint 0.12.3 latest ISO version for your Windows machine. You just need to download it and first extract it. After that you will get the ISO file and the roofers tool. So you need a USB flash drive to make the USB bootable. After that you need to just simply import the Checkprint ISO file and select your system partition like if you have a GPT or MBR. This ISO file support both 32-bit and 64-bit system, Intel and AMD processor. So you can run it on any PC. After that simply you need to click on start and it will start flashing your device. Now after the flashing part is done, you just need to close the Rufus tool and simply reboot your PC. Now you need to press the shortcut key to enter in your BIOS or a boot manager settings. After that you need to select your pendrive name and just click on enter and it will show you the checkpoint 0.12.3 latest version. Now just wait for the 5 seconds and it will automatically load the checkpoint. Now here is the latest checkpoint 0.12.3. Now if you have a device like iPhone 7, 7 Plus, iPhone 8, 8 Plus and iPhone X and you are facing issues while jailbreaking, first you need to connect your device. So I will show you step by step. So make sure you follow each and every step. Alright now if you are on iPhone 8, 8 Plus and iPhone X, you need to first off your passcode from the settings or if you have a face ID or a fingerprint enabled, just put it off. You need to off all this SEP encryption and after that you can proceed to the jailbreak. Now first time you will connect you will see the trust just connected. Now the solution number one, first you need to try to jailbreak your device normally. So if you are on A11 device you need to allow the skip 11 BPR check and allow untested iOS option for the iOS 14.5.1. This option is only for the A11 devices and if you are on the lower device like iPhone 7, 7 Plus, 6, 6S, you don't have to allow the skip A11 BPI check and after you have allowed that option in the A11 device you will see the freeze issue while your keyboard will not work and it's completely stuck here or you get the minus 21 lockdown error or you getting the error passcode state. So you can follow this step. This solution will fix all this error. First you need to put your device into DFE mode. So for that you need to press the side wicker button and the volume down button for the 5 to 10 second and after that you can release the side wicker button and the keep pressing the volume down button for the next 10 second and then your device will get into the DFU mode. You can also check the status on the check in screen that your device into get into DFU mode or not. So the button combination might be different for your model so you can try according to that. Now the device is successfully entered into DFU mode and you can see the status on the checkrain setting. Now you need to disconnect your device and connect it back. This is very important so follow each and everything otherwise this method will not work. Now just quit the checkrain app. After that you will see the terminal down below. Now on that you have to type the command to run the checkrain into the CLI mode. So just type the checkrain space minus C and then hit on enter and it will run the checkrain into the CLI mode. After that simply hit on enter and it will start jailbreaking your device. Now you can see on the screen your device is getting ready for the booting and exploiting. So make sure that you do not disconnect your device until it get complete and then you will see all done that means your jailbreak is done. If you see any kind of error just repeat the process and it will surely work. 
so i will give you the two proper solution for these errors so make sure you watch full video till the end now the device is getting into the booting screen Now here you can see on the screen it's showing all done that means the jailbreak is completed and your device is also on. Now just connect with the Wi-Fi and wait for the check-in loader to appear. After that you can simply install the Cydia. And this method is same for the iPhone 7, 7 Plus, iPhone 8, 8 Plus and iPhone X. So you can apply the same procedure for all this model and it will surely work. Now the check-in loader is here so just click on that. Now it will load the Cydia installer. Now click on Cydia and click on install Cydia. Now the CD is installed, just click on that and you can see the CD is working fine that means we have successfully jailbreak our device with the check rain. So you can apply the same process and you can jailbreak your device. Now I have already show you the simple and the easy way to jailbreak your device with the check rain latest version on the A11 devices or other A10 devices. Still if you face any issue with the first solution I will show you another second solution you can apply that and you can easily jailbreak if the first solution will not work. So first let me unjailbreak my device so that I will show you the again jailbreak step completely. Now we have successfully removed the jailbreak. Now the step number one as we did the last time on the A11 device like iPhone 8, 8 plus and iPhone X you have to opt the passcode, face ID or touch ID. This is only for the A11 devices for the other lower models you can enable the passcode after the jailbreak. So now just connect your device again. Now we have to put your device into DFE mode again so for that press the same button combination we have did the last time. There are some different steps in this so make sure you watch full video till the end. Now the device is again into DFE mode. Now we will proceed to the second solution. So just quit the checkrain app again and on the terminal this time you have to type checkrain space minus C space minus V space minus S. Now this time we have added the three flag arguments in the command line. Previously we have added only one argument that is the minus C for the CLI mode. But this time we have added the two mode that is the minus S and minus V. Now the jailbreak process is started so wait for it to get complete. Now the jailbreak is done and you can see the all done on the command line. It will not show the all done in the end like we have did in the CLI mode but it will show in the command line argument. So you can see everything is set now. Now just open the device and you can see the check in loader is here. Now simply install the CDR and repeat the same process. Now to come out from the CLI mode and to reboot your PC just press the Ctrl plus C and then you will see the terminal below and after that you need to type the reboot or a power off after that hit on enter and it will reboot or power off according to that. Now just simply type the reboot and hit on enter it will directly reboot your PC and just unplug your USB stick after that you will see your windows will work again. Now the CD is installed. Now make sure that you have installed the all required packages and update all of them because it will enhance your jailbreak experience. Now everything looks set now. We have successfully jailbreak our device and I've shown you two most important solution for your A11 devices like how you can jailbreak that and fix all these kind of error. You can easily do that on your Windows machine using my custom ISO file. So that's all for this video. I hope you like the content on my channel. So just hit the like button and if you're new here, subscribe to the channel for more cool update. Until then, goodbye, take care and peace out.